Hi guys! So I'm really excited because this is my first video and I'm just going to show you today, I'm not going to do a full tutorial, but I'm just going to show you my fresh faced summer, not trying to look like Drake's coffee cake look that I do in the summertime, not full coverage, um, just bright glowy, I look like sunshine look so I'm gonna show you what products I use what brushes I use um you know I got a lot of compliments on Facebook thank you um and I just wanted to go over what I use um so let's start off okay so I feel like I need to disclaimer if my hair is looking like bizarre seaweed right now it's because I'm letting it air dry so disregard bizarre hair I always let it air dry and then I go back and curl it when it's dry for that beach wavy summer look so it gets frizzy and craziness frizzle before I do all that so disregard. Um, okay so the first thing that I use after of course I wash my face and I moisturize I use the Becca backlight priming filter. Um, I actually just had a sample size of this but it is on my wish list in my Sephora makeup bag. So that's next on my list of primers that I use. Um, normally for primer, I am using the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Thank you, Alexis, for recommending this to me. This has changed my skin because before that, I was using Smashbox, um, the hydrating... Photo HD, I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but the silicone in it was drying my face out because I actually have really dry skin. This has coconut water and probiotic base ingredients and skin revivers. Blech, can't talk. <laughs> so this, when I put this on, it's just like butter. Makes my skin just great um, to apply the rest of my makeup. So this is what I normally use, but today, actually, since I ordered the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Palette and it came with the backlight priming filter. I was like, well, of course I have to try that today. So that is what I used. And I actually really liked it because it had that shimmery but not crazy um, pigment in it. So when I put it on my skin, it just kind of looked like you know, like the angels came down and it was just like gave my skin like this glow, which my skin is so dry that I feel like sometimes it just looks so dull and I just sometimes need that luminosity and I just feel like this primer just gave me what I needed. So I'm definitely going to buy this because I need this for summer. Yes. Okay, so next on my list that I used for this look today is the Hourglass, I'm not even going to try to say the middle word, Illusion Skin Tint. I'm going to try it. Hourglass Illusion hyaluronic skin tint <laughs> which has SPF 15. Um, I also got that with my Sephora order so as a sample size eh, so tiny um, but I actually really enjoyed it so I use that today. Um, it's not full coverage it has that souffle like consistency um, and I actually use the beauty blender well beauty blender but I'll get to that in a minute to um, apply and it just went on super sheer um, and I just like it just really fresh faced um, covering the right areas on my face um, normally when I am doing this look I use two things the first thing I use after I prime is I use the Tarte Tarte Guard SPF 30 um, sunscreen lotion my little nugget so cute these things are expensive, the full size. Yes, this was a sample. Use sparingly. Little bit goes a long way. Um, so <laughs> I'm very fair. And in the summertime, I need SPF. Simple as that. I burn like a lobster. So I will use this first. And then I will go in and conceal with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Woo! This is in Light Warm. So what I'll do, I will apply my little nugget and then I will go in and conceal where I feel like I need it. So under my eyes because my <laughs> mom blessed me with these beautiful dark circles. Love you mom. Um, <laughs> and 
you know, just a little bit on my chin, down the strip of my nose here, and just a little bit on my <laughs> yay widow's peak forehead. Um, and just, you know, just conceal where I felt like it. And then I blend it out with a beauty blender. Beauty blender. Now, I do not personally own the beauty blender. I don't see spending 20 some dollars on a makeup sponge. That's just me personally. I have two. One was $3. They're really dirty right now because I haven't cleaned them in a minute, so excuse. One was $3 from Marshalls. Marshalls. Um, Prestige brand, I believe. And then I also do have the Sephora one as well. This was $12. Um, the only difference that I really like between the two of them is this is a little bit denser. And I like using this for foundation and concealer because it doesn't eat a lot of my product, which I appreciate. Still gives you that flawless look that a beauty blender would give you for less than half the cost. So, Marshalls on that little end cap. Girls, invest. Um, the Sephora one I really like because it has the smaller side and it just gets up under my eyes really well. Um, so, yeah. Beauty blender. Um, on to the next one. Okay, so the next product I use, actually after I conceal under my eyes, is I go in with, oh, this thing's been through war, <laughs> the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you want to pronounce it, Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is light to medium, and I go in with the, oh, it's seen better days, banana powder. Um... And I go in under my eyes and I actually use the Morphe M438, which is this fun little brush right here. And I actually just use the banana powder and press under my eyes just to set the concealer under my eyes because I make such crazy facial expressions that my makeup just likes to crack and look crazy. And you should always set after you conceal anyway. Um... So yeah, that is what I use under my eyes. So I just kind of go, you know, pat on here lightly. Don't like sweep because you don't want to sweep away all your concealer, but I just pat on the powder. I do a little bit above my eyes just to set. Um, yes. Love this. Love this. $40. I actually ended up only spending $19 because I used my Birchbox points. Yay, Birchbox. Um, so invest. Not even just in this one. Any of the contour kits are great. I think even NYX has ones that's really nice. You can get that at, like, Target. Um, so, banana powder. Love it. Love it, love it. Um, the next thing I do is my eyebrows. Yes, my eyebrows. Um, I personally have no eyebrows. Barely any. So I know that's the hot topic. That's the girls are always talking about everybody else's eyebrows. Well, guess what? I have no eyebrows. I got my eyebrows waxed since I was like 10 because again, my Italian jeans and my mom blessed me with crazy unibrow eyebrows. So ever since I waxed them, I have none left. They're patchy. They look weird. They're crazy. Um, I just have to fill them in. I do. And as my girlfriend Megan would say, Hey, Meg. Um, one is Gucci, one is Walmart. They, sisters, not twins, they always look kind of crazy. I am not a makeup artist by any means. I will never, ever say I'm a makeup artist. I am a makeup enthusiast. Um, you know, there's all those girls online today that are like, oh, makeup artist, hashtag makeup artist. No. Um, I'm just a regular girl that loves makeup, so why not, right? Um, but yeah, eyebrows. Personally, I have to fill mine in because they're crazy. So, two things that I use, well, actually a couple things that I use, but mainly two things is I go in with the Anastasia, Anastasia, I'm just going to say Anastasia. We're from South Jersey, right? Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in medium brown. So this is fun because it has this little brushy, swirls up like this. Super awesome. I line my eyebrows and then I actually go in and I fill it in with 
the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pow brow powder duo hmm. brow powder duo in ebony so it's like this little drawn here open it up two different shades and I fill in and then I use actually this fun little doodad of a brush from Sephora um it doesn't have like a number or anything it actually came with the brow stencil kit from Sephora um <laughs> tried it hated it just no not good the brush though loved it the stencils uh no so those are the two things that I use um both from Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills these things and then uh, when I usually do them I feel like I have to go back over with um my concealer and I actually use the Morphe M224. So this is this fun concealer brush right here. Um, and then I go back in with my Naked Skin concealer. And I just line them, clean them up, make them look nicer, sharper. Um, because when I draw them on, sometimes I look like Groucho Marx. And I just need to clean them up. Simple as that. Okay, I'm crazy. What can I say? On to the next, right? Okay, so the next thing that I do is bronze. Bronze, baby. Um, I love summer because I am so pale. In the winter, I just look like Casper, and in the summertime, I actually get to look um, like a living person and not like the living dead. So there is two things that I like to use. Um, for this look though, I am using the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Matte Satin Pro <laughs> Bronzer. Oh yeah, I have to get used to this. Baked Matte Satin Bronzer SPF 15. Again, more SPF. Just, just put the SPF on, you know, need it. Um, this is actually in, does this even have, this says, I don't even know. I don't even know what shade this is. I can't tell. <laughs> Yay tutorials. Um, anyway, this is what I use. Um, and it's this great little domed compact if I can get it open. Um, I'm going to hold it up to the camera if you can see it. Um, seen better days. Oh, my makeup seen better days. Um, it's a little bit darker because, of course, it's summer, so I want that glow. I don't want to look pale. Um, and I actually go in with two brushes. So the first one is just a Eco Tools from Rite Aid powder brush. Um, so I pat it on, do like not a full contour. This is just bronze guys. So just my cheekbones and my forehead underneath my chin, get my beautiful Peter Griffin chin here. Um, you don't want to do too much in the center of your face cause then you're just going to look dirty, not good look. Um, just bronze bottom of your chin, on your cheekbones, top of your forehead, and then since this is a little bit dark for me, obviously everything's dark for me, who am I kidding? Um, I like to go back in and buff with the, um, <laughs> my firstborn child, is the Morphe E1. So, I'll put this down, Lorac, this is the bronzer that I use. This is the Morphe E1 from the Elite Brushes. Woo! Look at this. Great dome. Super fluffy. This is like $25. Now let me tell you. I signed up for the... Oh, pretty. Um, Morphe brush subscription. It's $19.99 a month. You get over $30 a month in brushes. So to me, that's super worth it because I don't have a ton of money. As you can see, I flip-flop back and forth between nice makeup drugstore makeup. I'm not that person who's a makeup snob. I think there's perfectly beautiful eyeshadows, lipsticks, everything at the drugstore 
as the same in Ulta and Sephora. Um, so, you know, two different ones, you know, this was probably what? $5. This is $25. Do I think they're both great? Yeah, obviously I use them. Um, but this anyway, sorry, ramble back to, I just buff my face out. Like pfft. just go in, do one of these, you know, all in all the, all the sweet spots. Um, just so it's not like bronzer's just like caked on, you know, how some of those lovely South Jersey girls have on that, uh, bronzer just looking like Drake's coffee cake. And that's not what we're going for. Sorry. Not in this tutorial. Uh, Morphe E1. I love it. Highly recommend it. Um, not even just the Morphe brushes, um, especially the subscription box. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look into it. Okay, so we are moving on to blush and highlights. Yes. Um, so the blush that I am using is NARS in Sex Appeal. Sorry, the sticker's like this way and the front's this way. Um, it's a really, really light shade. Um, to me, I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice. Justice, that's a word. Um, is this really pretty light coral color. If you know me at all, you know that I love coral. I love peach colors, I love gold, and I love everything about this. So this is super light. Um, for this look, when I'm just trying to get like that natural, fresh face look, I s just don't like to use a crazy dark blush. It's just me, personal preference. You can use whatever you want to use. This is this is what I like. Um, and I go in with the, this is a MAC 168, this is the contoured um, blush brush. Um, it's got that, why am I holding it like this? <laughs> why um it's got that fun um taper yeah that's the word it's got that fun taper um and I actually now there are some people that like to like put blush on and put it on the apples of their cheeks I have a big heart-shaped face I'll call it that heart shape face and I don't like to do that with my blush um I like to give it that angled look um from the top of my ear down to the corner of my eye because it actually draws my face in and makes me look skinnier, slimmer, skinnier. That's what I do with my blush. If I put it on right at the apples of my cheeks, sometimes I look like Mimi from Drew Carey and it's just not um, a pretty look for me. So that is what I do. I actually go in with the NARS Sex Appeal lightly, lightly like this, use the taper and go right in here like this not too far down because if you bring it too far down it just it's just not a good look um so right from the top of my ear to the corner of my eye and just go back and forth and blend that out really good so um mac 168 nars sex appeal um on to highlights the other hot topic eyebrows and highlight right um i'm on such a Jaclyn Hill kick right now. I know. A YouTube tutorial on a YouTube guru. Look at this Miss Frizzle. Let me just have a moment of silence for this crazy hair. Um, so this is, <laughs> this is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Compact in Champagne Pop. This is the OG, the original. Um, this is $38.00. And it looks like this. Ah. Um, let me just put it in the in my vanity light. Ooh, girl. Um, as Iris would say, chair. Um, right in there like that. Now I did order again, like I said earlier, the um, champagne pop palette. Ah. Um, love it. Ooh, hair. Um love this. I did not use both highlighters for this look because this is Champagne Pop. This is Prosecco Pop and it's really gold. I don't know if you can see. 
Um, I have to be super careful just because of my skin tone with the um, yellow pigment in the gold one because then I just, it, I look crazy. Um, if I do use it, I mix both. Um, but the Champagne Pop, I think on everyone, just looks beautiful. Personal preference. Um, I hope to do a tutorial next on this little baby right here. But for this one, I just did use the OG Champagne Pop. Um, and then to apply, I use the Morphe M510. This one right here. Um, it's like a little bit bigger blending brush. Um, just like this. I love this brush. Um, it's like that perfect size, you know, because you don't want to use too big a brush um, for highlight because then you're like um, caked on. So this is just perfect enough and light enough that it'll just doop, 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 tap it on. Um, so what I do is, I know I make my own sound effects, it's not awesome. Um, dab off extra product. Um, I do the tip of my nose. I do, let me see if you can see. On the top of my cheekbone, I actually do over top of my eyebrows a little bit, and then I do um, my chin and my um, cupid's bow to give your top lip that, uh, you know, bam, that little extra. A um, little bit goes a long way. Um, I know <laughs> lately they've been doing these videos with um, just using highlighters and all of these, you know, Jeffree Star, um, Nikki Tutorials, and everyone is just using just highlighters, um, but I don't know if people in everyday life, like if you're going to Target, are going to appreciate you looking like um, you and Tinkerbell had a one night stand, so lightly apply <laughs> um, where you want to, that's just my opinion, um, but yeah, that's what I used to highlight, and... Oh yeah, I'll do the next one. Okay, okay, we're coming towards the end. Where? Um, if you're still watching, thanks for um being with me this far. So last but certainly, certainly, yeah, certainly not least is my eyes and my lips. So on my eyes. Really simple. This is MAC Summer Haze Mineralized Eyeshadow. Um, I wish I could tell you if they still have this in stock. I'm not 100% sure. If it is, I will link it down below in my YouTube. If it's not, um, rest in peace. Um, and I will definitely find a dupe for this. Um, but this is what I use for this look today. It is so freaking pretty um super shimmery it's got that gold and that like light um cream color in it and just like when the light hits it it's just like pew. um so pretty i actually just mix them together i don't do anything fancy i don't do any crazy you know smoky eye not for this look you don't have to go crazy not for this just daytime um and i go in with the morphe seeing a trend. Morphe M333. This is this great eyeshadow, super thick um, blending brush. I love this brush. Ugh, love it. Um, just go in with the product, pew, 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 blend it out. That's it. Really simple. Um, you know, I have giant eyeballs. <laughs> um, and sometimes I feel like if I do a crazy look in the daytime people are like where are you going you know there was a time in my life where I wouldn't go out of the house without fake lashes on so um, as I get older I feel like um, I've just gotten just more natural looking I don't know just me um, like I'm talking like I'm so old I'm 26 but still um, I don't need to wear fake lashes every day um, especially for this look in summertime it's just you know fresh fresh face, you're not caking on makeup, not full coverage, not full glam. This is just every day. Um, so this is what I like to use. Um, if I'm not using this, I also use, um, 
have these really pretty tart eyeshadows as well and I just use um, like the cream color in that and it's actually really matte um, it's almost really close to my skin color so I'll just use that instead if I don't use this but I like to use this because it's really shimmery um, so yeah that's what I use for my eyes and then after that I use mascara um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara of course I'm sure you've heard of this if you haven't um, try it I suggest you try it if I'm not using this, I use um, from the drugstore is uh, Carbon Black. I want to say it's L'Oreal. I'm not 100% sure. Ah! Um, but I've rebought it like eight times, so I don't know why I don't know which specific brand it is. But um, Carbon Black from the drugstore, I'm obsessed with. I love that wand. I love that formula. It's so black, too. Um, sometimes if I am wearing fake lashes and I use... Um, mascara I feel like you can tell the difference like um between my real lashes and the fake lashes so when I use carbon black it's so dark that it actually um makes them look really great but if you are looking for an inexpensive mascara carbon black it has like a gold top and a black bottom Ooh love it but I am actually using the better than sex Too Faced my mom actually um was using this when I was in Florida and I was like who are you? Um, she was using this and I um, really like the way it looks so I bought it. The only complaint I have with this is I feel like if it's not super fresh um, it does start to get a little bit funky. You know how mascara gets like funky? Um, I have noticed this is gonna sound like a really weird trick. Um, while I'm doing my makeup, I will actually put this like in my cleavage. Like I'm not kidding. I will put this in here so that it warms it up um, with my body heat, with my, you know, um, heat. And it actually um, un unclumps this. But I love this mascara too. It's just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty on. I know they actually just came out with the waterproof version of it as well. I haven't tried it yet, but that's also on my list. Um, but this wand, like, can you even with this wand? Um, so the only thing that is a downer for this is like, once you start using this like frequently, um, it does get a little cakey, but I've noticed if I warm it up, um, yeah, like don't go microwaving it, but I mean just warming it up with my body heat and I put it literally in my cleavage, it just, it decakes. And then I just, you know, mascara. I'm not going to give you the whole ugly mouth open um, mascara tutorial <laughs> right this second, but I'm pretty sure you girls know how to put mascara on. Um, I'm so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. I hope this is amusing to watch. Um, and... Second to last is lips. Ah. Um, if you're like me or like any girl on planet Earth, you love lip product. Um, I've recently been gifted by my boyfriend Casey's mom, like, more lip product that I know what to do with. Um, that I actually had to go invest in, like, <laughs> let me just show you sorry Debbie if I'm adding you right now but I had to invest in like containers for how much lip product I have like these are just some of the Mac ones that she um gave me so this is like a Yankee candle like emptied out like <laughs> um and I had to get one of these actually this is a good trick. Um, in the front of Target in that dollar aisle, there is the art easels with like that spin. Three dollars, right? Well, I got that. And, oh, it's so heavy. Um, I actually got it and used it to fill in more of the lip products that I have and that Debbie gave me. And <laughs> this isn't even all of them. Um, tears of joy. Tears of joy. Um, but, sorry, not to go off on a tangent, but, uh, 
can't have enough, right? Um, the lip color that I used today, ooh, let me put this down, it's like so heavy, is pretty simple. You get at the drugstore is NYX in um, Pumpkin Pie. I love this. I love this color. It's just, let me show you on camera. It looks like this. Just like pretty nude, but not so nude brown. Because do you know, like, some of the nudes just look so brown. Like, and I feel like um, one of those South Jersey girls who, you know, the ones that like line their lips with like the brown lip liner and then like would like put the concealer in or like, you know, like that brown color. And I'm like, that's just not, no. This is pretty like nude with a little hint of peach, which again, I just love peach. It's just me. Um, I love it. I love the formula of the NYX lipsticks. If you're not trying to wear a lipstick, if you're like Kelsey, it's summertime, like I just want to um, throw something on and go. The other um, go-to that I use when I am doing this look is I have the Buxom Lip Balm in Copacabana. I actually don't have it here right the second because it's in my car um but it's this super cute um little pot it's not like a doesn't have an applicator it's just a little pot it's sheer goes on sheer it has like that minty um ness to it which I love I love when lip stuff has like the mintiness because it just in the summer especially it gives you like that ooh like that um like if you're eating an Altoids, you know, like that, just that like freshness. Um, it's super sheer and it just has that little baby hint of like lip color, which I love that. So I, I just do one of those with the Copacabana or I use the NYX pumpkin pie. Love this one too. Um, and then lastly, oh, this hair is crazy. Thanks for sticking with me this far, guys, is setting spray course um in the summertime you don't want to melt like an ice cream cone not that you would with this look but um personal preference I just like to set my makeup with this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray long lasting oil free um I love this this is like I don't think I'll ever stop using this like I've seen other ones and I just can't seem to stray um so i just at the end of all that all that application i just do one of these let it dry that's it that is my decaked no drake's coffee cake fresh summer glow i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed making it um and yeah See you next time. Bye, guys.